Hey, you are never too far gone. I am Player Eruption. Jesus loves you and so do I. Guys, we're back in our Minecraft hardcore world. The last time we got ourselves a roommate named Dave. I still don't know if I'm going to put him over here or take him down to the village. Look at that majestic sunset. My goodness. Also, I figured out in Optifine, supposedly there's a setting that you can turn off the nether fog. I want to try to find that. Okay, I found a fog option, but I didn't find it a nether fog option. Maybe the fog option is the nether fog option. For the sake of seeing if I can turn off the fog, it will make it. I don't know if I don't know if I really need to explore any more than nether though. It's great that I can turn off the fog, but I don't know if I need to. See fog off. Can I see suit? Oh, I also need to turn off the shaders because the shaders shaders also make the nether fog go away. Kind of weird. These. But I just want to turn the fog off and see if I can see forever. Oh, <gasps> You can! Dude, that is game-changing. Boy, there is nothing but soul sand over here. Oh my goodness, the fortress reaches all the way over here. If you guys didn't see in the last episode, I get to the fortress by going through a little cave up there. It's like right there. And it takes me to the fortress, but I did not know it reached all the way over here. That is just something we're going to make a mental note of if I ever need to do some more nether exploration, which I don't think I ever will. But if I do, that is an option. Okay, cows are doing good. It shouldn't be too long before we're able to start harvesting them. Okay, I do think I'm going to get a lot of wheat going here. I want to be able to, the first village on the exploration I did gave me emeralds for wheat. So I do want to get some emeralds piled up because I do plan to do some stuff with the villagers. I want to get more zombie villagers and kind of just have like my own little trading post here that I can get whatever I want with. I don't know what I want for the first villager. I can do several different blocks to make him certain things, but I don't know what would be the most beneficial. Okay, so if this website I'm looking at is correct, if I get myself a fisherman, one of his last traits, I can give him a boat and he'll give me emeralds. Now, this website could be out of date, but that would be really nice. That would basically mean I have unlimited emeralds. I mean, not unlimited, but... Okay, so I think the best thing I can get would either be... A weaponsmith, a toolsmith, or a fisherman. Just because the fisherman, I should be able to get tons of emeralds. But the weaponsmith will give me diamond swords if I get them up to level, and they're enchanted, supposedly. And so will the weaponsmith get me enchanted diamond pickaxes if I get them up there. The only thing, I don't know what I want. I might go to that village that was really close, get some emeralds, and see what they have at their village. See if there's weaponsmiths over there, see if there's toolsmiths over there. See what they have, because that village is not too far. I could build a railroad system to them. Okay, let's head off on our journey. This should be a very short journey, because if I remember correctly, the village is pretty close. Okay, here is that crazy looking village. Is it night? Oh my goodness, the day is gone already. Okay, we'll sleep in a bed here. Not a big deal. I need to find, I think the farmers were over there that would uh, give me emeralds for wheat. So we'll trek over there. Oh my goodness, this is a different horse than I brought last time. This horse can jump so high. Okay, Mr. Farmers, um... Are you over here? Ah, yes, you are. Yes, my boy. Oh my goodness, Dave. I'm probably going to take all the emeralds you'll give me. No, oh, he doesn't want it anymore. That was quick. <laughs> Where? I'm pretty sure there's another one. Do you also do the trade man? You do. And we burned him out as well. He also does potatoes. So I burned. Is there any more farmers here? I actually have fire aspect. Let's grab some. Grab some leather while we're here. I need more books, cows. I'm sorry, bro. It's just I got a good sword. You're in a good spot. What are you? You're not a farmer. You are like a... A nut. Chief, I'll get you some stairs out of your little predicament. There you go, Chief. You can walk on out of here. Mr. Cow. <laughs> Look at that one. These villagers are nuts, man. Phil, what was the game plan, man? Easy. One at a time. One at a time, you nut. You're welcome, by the way. Village rescue operation here. Well, that's not bad. I was hoping I could get a little more, but it makes sense. I mean, they, I know they can only take so many before they lock up. There is a ton of grass here. Let's grab some seeds while we're here. Okie dokie. Nice little, almost a full stack of seeds. I think we'll go ahead and head on back. I will check back down in the canyon and on the other side if there's another farmer down there. And I'll have to remember, I should actually look. I can bring back potatoes and get more emeralds. What else do you guys take again? Ooh, I could get apples. Oh, and you'll take wheat now. Wait, really? Really? Oh, he leveled up. So melons will get me an emerald. Ooh, 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 or I can get cookies. What a waste. Dude, this is nuts. I just, I got 37 emeralds now. You are a nice man. My goodness, I got a lot of emeralds now. Okay, let's try to get back across this alive without breaking legs. Sorry. Was that three blocks his horse just jumped up? Dude, that wasn't even full. That's full. Dude, this horse can probably jump four blocks. That is nuts. Okay, Mr. Horsey, I really like you. I hope you stay close, but I don't have a name tag, so I have no real way to keep you. Unless, of course, I built you a pin. This garden is bigger than I thought. This this is, this is side is almost a full stack of seeds. I got 45 emeralds, dude. That is nice. Okay, I honestly probably didn't need the apples. I didn't know I had... <laughs> 30-some apples sitting around, and I have more than that. Okay, yeah, I really should stop buying apples. 
It's great because I didn't have a lot there for a while, but my goodness, I've got a lot now. Okay, three more bookshelves. That should completely seal the deal here, right? There we go, that's level 30. So for the sake of looking cool, I'd like to... If I could get rid of these two and make it like art, like get rid of this block and this block and have like a cool design in here. Okay, so I think I need a smithing table to make him a tool smith, which I think that's going to be what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'd like to have him like right. Let's actually kind of build something here. I'd like to be able to have multiple villagers here. Okay, so if I get him in this little cone and I have like that back there, if he falls down here, will he accept this? Or do I need to build him like an actual house to get him to become like an actual villager? Because that'd be kind of annoying. Okay, Phil, I'm going to need you to come down here for me, Chief. Look, a new area. Yeah, let's go, bud. Uh -huh. Yeah! Get down there for me. That was really easy. He smokes. He's going to town. I hear him clinking away. Okay. Uh -huh. So this will work great. Uh, Cole will get me an emerald. I'll probably uh -huh. buy some stone shovels to get him going. And then I'll put another one here. And then another one here. And I could actually make a if i got another one i could make them um, breed somehow i think i can make a little house for him like just put a bed in there and a door and it'll trick him into making him breed i think i can do something like that so i might do that if i get another zombie but honestly it was so easy to just find a zombie villager and turn him into that good grief dave those diamond tools better be worth it man i, I don't know what i'm gonna do with all these stone shovels let's just fill up a chest with them for now all right tell me something's better here Ooh, a bell iron for an emerald oh yeah do all of those oh that's nice Okay, ooh, a diamond hoe for an emerald. Dude. Ooh. Ooh, 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 give me one of these. And go ahead and give me one of these. Dude, this is not bad. That's an efficiency two iron pick. I get two of them and get an efficiency three. Dude, that's not bad at all. <laughs> like, that's not a bad pickaxe. Dave, what's your next levels? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Give me a couple more diamond hoes. This is more just to level them up. <laughs> I'm buying everything he has. Okay, now he'll be a master. Hopefully he gives you some- I got so many random tools now. Okay, Dave. Efficiency one. I was really hoping you would have better enchants on these high levels, but honestly, that's just a- Ooh, actually, you know what? Yeah, give me a couple of these. These are one diamond right now. Holy smokes. Give me a couple more of these. Just bought all he had. Like this? It's not a bad loadout for as little effort as I had to do to get it. Okay, well, I'd really like to get another zombie villager then. <laughs> so the current goal is gonna be try to get a fortune pickaxe. I need more diamonds and I'd like to- I have a cheap set of diamond armor that I use for just kind of casual stuff and then an actual boss set of diamond armor where I have like good stacked enchants. I think I'm gonna make a chest piece and then some pants and just put some pro one, maybe some pro three on it. Just really light enchants. Just so I can have some, just so I'm a little safer when I'm running around doing random errands. Bro, and I could just risk a level three enchant and try to get fortune, but I really want fortune. I just, it, it, it's gonna make getting diamonds so much easier. I actually kind of want to go out and try to find another zombie villager. Come on, zombie villager, I know you're out here somewhere. I think I was more over here when I found him the first time. I'm not sure, and I, the original reason I came out here was to get ender eyes originally when I found Dave. So if I see an enderman, I'm not gonna be opposed to smoke him. Whoa! Holy smokes! That is something you don't see every day, man. Like that! My goodness, bro, he is like the main character. Oh! <laughs> he fast traveled. Come on, I just want a zombie villager or enderman. I can't complain if I get an enderman. What I could do is I could look up how to build a mob farm, and that would be a good way to get XP. Dude, three skeletons there. Three skeletons there. <gasps> I see him. Hello, senor friend. Yes! Well, honestly, the sun's about to come up. I think even if I found a zombie villager, it'd be too late. What in the world? I don't know, Phil Swain. That's Dave's cousin. Dude. Wait, what a champion, bro. He's got a long way to go. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're burning. That's funny. I didn't find a zombie villager. I found one enderman who did not drop an eye. Okay, Mr. Cows, it's time to start expanding. We've got a lot of cows in here. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a little mining. In the future, the next main things I want to do is get more villagers, obviously. I also want to go to the end, because there's that green forest. I don't know if you guys watched the last episode. By the Nether Fortress, there's that green forest where the endermen like to spawn. I'd like to go build myself a little too high spot where I can sit in there and just farm endermen. I need the eyes, and I feel like that would be the safest and easiest way to get it so that's awesome list i think i'm gonna do a little mining now though okay so we went that way very very far let's go oh let's go this way mining is a lot easier with this nice pickaxe i have to thank dave for that one he kind of came in clutch oh there's a mine shaft for the time being i think we're just gonna dig right over it we might come back to it what does this look like see i i just we might come back to this we'll leave it at that we might come back oh goodness Ooh, didn't like that but now I kind of do like it. Let's be careful here. Whoa. 
Was I, I stepped on these and didn't see these? Dang. Curse of Binding. We'll take those. That's not bad. This is a very big cave or mine shaft, whatever you want to call it. I just, I, I've i said it in the past. I feel like the best way to get my diamonds and the safest way is to strip mine. Oh, wait a second. Okay. I know what this is. Is this all part of the end city? I don't know what this is. Pretty sure the wardens spawn here. Okay, we're going to make a mental note of this and, and come back when we know what we're doing. I mean, that's really cool. I just, I don't want to deal with that. On top of that, I have never fought the warden. So I don't know what the tactics are. I don't know what to avoid, what to do. I might look up some videos. We might come back to that in the future. I, I like how close that is. So that's really, this is the mine where I came down from. Whoa. I explored this before. And I, I missed this. I'll take it. I don't know how I missed that. Yes, give me those diamonds. Up to 19. This has been a very good diamond expedition. Very good. What have we stumbled upon to here? Any diamonds? I don't see any. You know, for the sake of it. So this is the other side of that um, lava lake we're looking at. I just basically dug across. What's it look like down here? Any diamonds exposed? Nah, it doesn't look like it. We almost fell into the lava there. That would, that would not have been fun. All right, what does this look like? I don't think we're just going to keep carrying on. Oh, -ho! I'm glad I grabbed that iron. I'm like, I need iron, so I'm going to grab this and go on. Honestly, thought I was going to cut this whole section out of the video. You got to love to see it, folks. More of them there, 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 diamonds. Kind of thing I'm going to head back. I got a good amount of diamonds, a nice amount of gold, little iron. I like that I found where the warden spawns. I, like I said, I've never fought him before, so I don't know the first thing about what to do when you go in there, what not to touch, what not to step on. I might look up some videos and maybe we'll explore that. I just, I do not want to die to the warden. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure had fun playing it. I, I'm glad we got a lot of stuff done. I, I don't know what to do with the warden and like him yet. Like I said, I'm probably going to watch some videos and maybe attempt to deal with him maybe attempt not to we'll see i'm glad we got dave all set up with his profession that is fun if you have something you want me to play please post it in the comments so i can take a look at it but remember love runs the world so don't forget to run the world